H2O is a magic molecule because it makes the oceans, nourishes living things, and even makes delicious drinks. But this book that Sophia gave me says that there's still more. Yes, H2O plays an important role in moving heat around the Earth and helps make our weather and climate livable. Hydrogen bonds hold H2O molecules together in water. Think of the hydrogen bonds as springs connecting molecules. As temperatures drop close to freezing, water molecules vibrate with low energy and the springs move slowly. As water absorbs solar energy, it heats up and the molecules vibrate faster, but the springs still hold the molecules together. These spring-like bonds allow water to absorb lots more energy and still remain a liquid. We see this when we put a pot on the stove. It takes a long time to make the water hot. That's because water has a high heat capacity. It also means that water wants to retain heat energy. The springs keep the molecules energized. This capacity of water directly affects the climate on many countries, for example, Western Europe. Great ocean currents, such as the Gulf Stream, transport very warm tropical water to the higher latitudes of Western Europe. It is the capacity of water to retain heat that keeps the current warm, even though it travels a great distance allowing the current to deliver heat that gives the northern latitudes a moderate winter climate. H2O is also magical when it goes from liquid water to water vapor. As water gets much warmer, some molecules become too energetic for the springs to hold them. The liquid molecules evaporate and become water vapor. We see this when a pot of water begins to boil and bubbles of water vapor appear. The water vapor bubbles rise and mix with cooler air above the pot. Now the water vapor molecules lose energy and some condense back into water droplets. That's why we see steam above the pot. The same process happens in nature on a large scale to make clouds. During the day, the sun's energy is absorbed by the Earth's surface. Rocks, soil, and plants soak up the sun's energy and become much warmer than the surrounding air, and their heat is conducted to water vapor that is mixed in with the surrounding air. The warmer water vapor rises until it begins to condense into clouds in the sky. That is why on some days, we see white, puffy clouds filling the sky. In the summer, under a hot sun, this process sometimes creates large, high-energy clouds that can lead to thunderstorms. On the ocean, there is only water to absorb the sun's energy. Unlike on land, most of this heat is not conducted to the air above. Instead, the absorbed energy greatly increases the amount of evaporation. Under the intense sun in the tropics, the great ocean expanses can generate enough water vapor to make huge bands of clouds that stretch for miles. So much tropical heat is moved into the atmosphere that it pushes its way toward higher latitudes, taking a significant amount of water vapor with it. At latitudes away from the tropics, atmospheric winds will carry the air across the Earth and send water vapor over the continents, where water vapor will then fall as rain or snow. This giant process is what keeps lakes and rivers full, even though gravity continually moves the fresh water back into the ocean. These processes are called convection. From the steam above the stove, to the clouds in the sky, to the great movement of warm air and water vapor around the world, convective currents are what drive our weather and keep our climates livable. All of this made possible by the magic of this little molecule. If you want to learn even more about the wonders of H2O, you can see more in our video, The Magic Molecule Part 3.